project. I think I've always had some kind of project going on since I was a kid. I stumbled across the concept of planning ahead once when, when I ran away from home with nothing but my favourite teddy bear and a stick. I ended up going back and forth outside our fence because, well, I wasn't allowed to cross the street, so... I was born in Plymouth in England in 1976. The first house I lived in was a place called Valley View. And to be honest, I really wish I remembered some of it. I mean, it looks quite nice. My mum and dad met at Erbedevol in Norway, but she was still living at home nearby, looking after the horses at the racing stables as a part-time job. My dad, the jockey, had come over by ship from England to win races with mentioned horses, and so that's where my story begins, really. And also the reason for me and my brother being half British, half Norwegians. The horses soon moved us down to the other side of the world, to an island called Bahrain. Where Dad started training for. His Highness, the Emir Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa, laid the foundation stone. I'll say. The 80s is way up there on my favourite half a decade list. <laughs> it was a great time to be alive and well as a family in the land of sand that was Bahrain. It's nice, isn't it? Oh. At least up until the divorce in 85. My brother and dad were to stay behind at the island when me and my mum moved up to Norway for good. I wrote my very first song that year. I guess that's where my melancholy has its roots. But you know, just because you served a plate of what if doesn't mean that whole table full of what is is a bad thing. I mean, I love it here. Too. One of my favourite places just to be is in the somewhat hidden gem called Rendal. Our family has roots way back in the valley, and my granddad built this cabin back in 1966. I kind of wanted to do something special for this album, so I came up here and set up a route that pretty much circles in my first impressions of this beautiful place, and, and one of the reasons why I proudly can say... I'm so stolt of Norsk. Time echoes on a line, giving me 
make it to the mine, some of them covered in fear. And what about fate? Are you any more than any other lot of each? And my threat just aiming for the eye, the needle at the end of my womb. Will you forget me there? Am I forgiven? Do I run into luck? I've never had any big religious beliefs. Always had more of an oh my science kind of approach to things, I guess. But when you lose someone really close, it kind of makes you wish that there was a heaven after all. I suppose we're all divided in some way or another, no matter what we do or don't believe in. But yeah, they walk here with me. Jeg er empatist. Som ikke tror på en Gud jeg allikevel tror på. For dig. Jeg hører fortsatt latteren din rulle. Fra himmelen et sted som ellers ikke finnes. Thank you. 
upon the sky from different sides. Some of us with nowhere else to turn to, left behind, divided by. How do two shapes that don't really go together end up making something that seems to fit so well? I'm no part-time dad, thanks very much. Thank you. 
I'm probably the worst boss I've ever had <laughs> when it comes to taking breaks sometimes. So I need this. But I also need to get to the top of that mountain. Too many 
this could have been a nice place to find something really profound to say, but... <laughs> oh well. There you go. So many opportunities. Missed.
more and more things are starting to feel like little drops of history repeating. In that sense, I often think that I might as well just keep on keeping to myself, at least for a little while longer. Instead of getting there anyway, by getting in the way, you know, getting there through someone else. And yes, I know that philosophy sounds pretty grim if you don't agree with it. But hey, it kind of works for me. Projects, projects, projects. <laughs> I've started quite a few, more than I've finished. And I've, you know, thrown a few away along the way. Some I haven't even started yet. So I have to say that getting this close to finalising a project you've been dreaming about for a long time, it feels pretty good. And I think that's what really keeps me going as an artist. And you know what else is pretty good? Getting away from everything. Making some room for everything else. Don't get me wrong, it can be good to feel like some part of society sometimes, but it's always great to get away. I am 
welcome of humanity. I wake up every day, a rider in the cavalry. I wanna get away, so I get away. Some days the river runs wider, other days too shallow and narrow. Waterfalls too heavy to. I'm not your kind. Seven billion in the sea of opinions and advice on how to keep the sanity when it turns to ice. When it turns to ice. Some days. River runs wide. Other days twist shallow and narrow. Waterfalls too heavy to be denied. And I'm not your kind. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yes. <laughs>